Greetings, Saber fans. It's your old pal Meg Two Sith. <clears throat> Got some progressions here to show you. This lightsaber is the first ever Teensy Saber that I installed. It's a BS conversion of a Kylo Ren hilt. Um, it's got a 26650 battery, uh, Teensy Saber. It's all beat up. It's old. This is a very old Saber. Um, but this was my first open source Saber. Next is this, which the grips are still in the works here. But this was um, an ESB Graflex uh, 2.1. I'm getting ready to put screws in the grips here. But this is a Graflex 2.1 with a printed com pommel and everything. This one was my beta for Teensy Saber 1.5. The DV6 was my beta for Profi 2.2. I did all the beta testing on Profi 2.2, uh, at least my portion of it in this Saber, which was kind of uneventful. And then I've got my 2KR flagships, and I'll talk about them more in a minute. But the important part about this one, this flagship, this is my Profi beta saver for Profi 3.7, which we're going to talk about today. So when we left off on this saver, we had just done the install. We did the install on this saver on my MegTooth Monday Live vid. And, um, you know, there's the, the board inside there. You can see the USB port sticking out, but that's where the board lies. That's a Profi 3.7. What y'all didn't see was the switches, and now these switches are, are temporary. Um, I actually ordered a different one from Robert Sotomayor. I'll show you that here in a second. But this is the actual switch that will be in the saver once it's finalized. So I'm trying to put some light on it so you guys can see it. But this will be the switch that goes in the final install. And it's not a final install yet. And I'll let y'all know why. So basically what I did is I haven't even firmly seated this switch down yet. And under here is a um, micro JST connector. Uh, three prong for my buttons so I can un so I can remove this button assembly and unplug the button so I can push the chassis back out to do different stuff to the profi board but when I final wire it it'll be soldered in and this switch will be firmly set in another thing I added was during the demo I had a bolt here it was just an uh, 1032 bolt and it was a place saver for this so this is a, a glass eye that was done by Robert Sotomayor, but it's also blade retention, so, you know, when you loosen this, out comes your blade plug. And then you put in the blade plug and tighten it down. And then there's my blade plug, which is pretty cool. And the fact that you get shine through, and you also get shine through on these KR flagships. This is one of the greatest hilts ever made because they're so versatile. You can do so much stuff with them. But let's let's demo this thing and show it to you. Before I do, I also wanted to show you. So I also got one thing I didn't like about my brass flagship, which this has been installed with Profi 2.2, and it's picking up a really good natural patina on it. Um, this is uh, KR Flagship's brass flagship, and uh, I don't know if the light will help bring out the etching on it, because it's, you know, it's patinaing, it's natural patina. But I actually have the, you know, my logo etched in there. It's the same etch on both of these hilts. Um, but I got Robert Sotomayor to make a brass eye. 1032 retention screw um, shine through it's shine through um, red brass eye for this saber so that's for my brass flagship and I'll be adding that in too here at some point so Robert Sotomayor's Sorok Sabers had a great deal to do with this but let's 
let's get on to the demo of this thing. I'm going to loosen the Robert Sotomayor's blade retention screw that he made me to shine through the glass eye. And I'm just going to insert a demo blade into this thing. All right, so I put Brian Connor's test one on this. Been driving Jen Jen and Ella and Risky crazy all week, but I kind of wanted to show y'all something. Pre on, stand by for ignition. Out, 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 out. Swing high, swing high, swing high, swing, swing, swing. swing, swing. how quick it's throwing out blasters but Brian Connor's sound font is so cool because you can hear how all the sounds play in and not only that um, you know you can hear how fast these sounds trigger like with multi-blaster That's a pretty big difference in Proppy 3.7. But and, 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 and post off. now what well, I want to that was fun. No, it was Brian Connor. It's funny. Now what I want to do is um, demo this on a full blade for y'all. Now I'm gonna kind of show off what this thing can do. This saber is programmed on OS 6 with uh, Fernando's Battle Mode One. That's FET 263. His Battle Mode One. Got a bunch of cool stuff on here that I wanted to test and see how it ran on Proppy 3.7. Um, I did run Frederick's initial fire bleed just for tradition's sake on Casus Cross Guard. The cool thing is the slurs are definitely well pronounced. That used to cause problems with speed. See, I don't lose any speed. So the repetitive clashes don't cause any speed loss. That's a huge, huge difference on Proppy 3.7. Proppy. Of course, it has gestures too. So it's got thrust on, it's got swing on, and twist on. And twist off. And that puts you in battle mode right now. Seismic charges. This is Brian Connor's seismic charge blade, which this is a pretty complicated blade. It's running just fine on Proppy 3.7. The cool thing on this one is the multi-blast because, you know, it's got the Slave 1's uh, multi-blast already. So every time you do a blaster, it's got random. So if you go to multi blast, you can see that this really should be thrown a lot at the board because it's got swing highs, swing lows, swings, and blasters all going, 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 going. And the board's still able to retrieve them all through the SD card. So that's the advantage of the SDIO. It's allowing the soundboard to retrieve those sounds very quickly so it doesn't cause any lockups on the board. That's the big advantage on the Proppy 3.7 so far. But y'all have seen this blade before. Okay, uh, Sis, Rogue One Vader. 
which it's really cool now. But I'll put it in multi blast. see the blasters get triggered pretty fast. Now this is pod racing. <laughs> kind of fun except one. Hyperphonics and New Hope training. Which is cool. And then he expanded it in the new pack. So AMH training also has just normal graphic sounds. And Kate and I'm sorry, but Jesse swings on this one are pretty close to Juan Sis Graphlex 4.0. They really match the hum very, very well in the low swings and the high swings. And he's put traditional blaster sounds on. So when you do multi-blaster, that's pretty awesome. Right wing block, lock up, that's all pretty awesome. And then, of course, I give it a rainbow blade with, I think, yeah, Cantina. You know, I started off doing that on the, um, on the um, cross guards with Teensy Saber, and I'm still doing it. I know a lot of people have also taken to that, which is pretty cool. You got my battery blade and the um, theme song to Mandalorian. And we're back to Brian Connor's test farm. So you know, Frederick said that you know he wanted he wanted people to build actual props to put the Prop E 3.7 in, and um, you know I've been swinging around this test rig. If y'all don't hear my voice, I've been sick. I've been very sick all week. Um, but I think I built a a um, pretty nice prop. You know, this saber's been sitting around waiting for me to install it. This is one of my company flagships. Um, with my, my logos on it and uh, you know I'm pretty proud of the prop that I've chosen to install with three no, points. No, no, no. Oh. Swing, 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 swing. And swing in, 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 in. post off. Well, that was fun. A lot of the additions including uh, the chassis and the button solution by Robert Sotomayor you know make this hilt really stand out as a good prop and not only that it's been no, 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 no. Well, in, 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 in post off. <laughs> 
I gotta put it down. That was fun. The problem with motion motion gestures is they, they go when you don't want them to. But it was a good prop, and uh, you know, I've been testing the mess out of this saber. I've been throwing a lot at it. I haven't got it to glitch. If y'all watch my YouTube channel, you saw where I came up on a slight problem with Data 4. Uh, Frederick fixed that that night, so Data 4 works just fine now. There's no problems with it. And, you know, we've got other people testing OLEDs and Bluetooth on it. And, you know, so far, the tests seem to be going successful. So, everybody keep your fingers crossed that the chip shortage quickly comes to an end and we can get through with Profi 3.7 beta testing, which... It seems to be proceeding just the same as Profi 2.2. I'm not seeing a whole lot of problems reported. And, uh, you know, once we can get through this beta testing on Profi 3.7, we'll start beta testing on uh, Operating System 6 for Profi OS, which is going to bring in a lot of exciting things from Fernando. Battle Mode 2, uh, Edit Mode for the users, which will make it a lot simpler for end users of Profi to edit their own sabers and to add sound fonts and blade styles. So there's a lot of very, very cool things coming in the world of Profi lightsabers. And, uh, you know, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'm trying to give everyone a little bit of insight on what beta testing is. It's kind of boring. It's just swinging around a lightsaber, which is pretty cool. Because if you like swinging around a lightsaber, that's what beta testing is. But you got to build the sucker in time to, to get the testing done. Uh, I'm honored that Frederick chose me to be a beta tester. And I've been a beta tester on all three iterations of Profi. And, you know, I was one of the infant users on Teensy Saber. And uh, I'm really proud of these open source boards and where they're taking the lightsaber community to. Thank you everybody for watching as usual. I really appreciate y'all tuning in on my channel. And as always.